Brother Tom, I'm sure you have prerequisites, requirements for those who join. Uh, if you do, what oh, are yes. they and who can join? Well, the uh, Constitution say that anybody who is in a valid marriage can join. Mm. And How about uh, widows, of course, Single. and widowers. And uh, what are we saying? Single people? Oh, no, that's another group called the Annunciationists. Oh, pardon me, this is a family sure. association. Well, there are four, actually. One for single men, one for single women, one for diocesan priests, and one for the family, family. Mm. which was the last to be founded. And strangely enough, it was born like uh, the church from the founder's death. Mm. During his life, because of his anticipation of the times, ahead of his times, he couldn't find any of our priests to take up the work of promotion. And then, as he died, one of the, uh, the um, members of the Secular Institute for Priests, they also some priests in Italy, mm -hmm. um, actually, um, by chance, discovered that, that there was no director. And he himself became the director. And it grew miraculously uh, in a matter of 10 or 15 years under the direction of these mm. Jesus Priests, is the name of the uh, Secular Institute for Priests, um, in Italy and uh, in, other, in other countries. Still a small group, of course, but sure. um, we will pray that it, uh, the message gets to. I'm particularly concerned with the point that she has made so often that that people see this as not something extra. They are already good people. Mm. And so then I say to myself, why not take advantage of the um, gift offered by God, right. and uh, wh which only improves your spiritual mm -hmm. and does nothing to burden you. That's right. <laughs> yes. yeah. And that's the key to discovering that, of course. We have such fears that we're going to get another burden. Exactly. And, and I wanted to say, too, that Our Lady is appearing literally all over the world today, mm -hmm. begging us as her children to come back and asking us to help her other children to come back. And this is the Pauline. Paulines are missionaries. Mm -hmm. And our job is to help the Queen of Apostles give mm -hmm. Christ to others. Praise God. Well, it's such a delight having both of you with us. We'll keep you on the set because a little later in the show there will be telephone calls. Hello? Hello. Where are you from? From McLean, Virginia. And your question? Well, um, I'm a Catholic single parent, and um, usually when I hear single parent mentioned in the church, it's sort of in between um, drug abuse and alcohol. <laughs> and my concern, is, besides raising our status outside of that problem area, is to ask uh, the young lady and the father exactly uh, where would we be able to fit in into any of the services. What you speak of are the things that um, I and, and several of my friends are going towards. We're finding that falling in love with Jesus is helping us rid ourselves of a lot of our materialism. Barbara, would you like to have a shot at that? Uh, it would seem to me that if you're a single parent and the marriage breakup uh, was no fault of your own and you're still uh, you know in good standing with the church that this would be open to you and I highly recommend it because I think the Holy Family will literally take over your family we have another call hello hello yes where are you from um, I'm calling from Massachusetts yes and your question uh, I would like to ask uh, they, uh, they were talking about chastity uh, I would like to ask how do they uh, understand it? Is it complete chastity, or do they have periods uh, where they uh, they think of children? Sure, Barbara. I, I think the caller here is making a very common uh, mistake in confusing celibacy with chastity. Uh, married conjugal love has periods, has uh, the virtue of chastity involved with it. Uh, and it's totally uh, different from celibacy, which uh, a priest or a, a vowed religious nun who uh, is enrolled with a convent would do. Uh, this in no way is a burden on married life. We live a traditional married family life. And chastity means following the laws of the church concerning conjugal rights in marriage. And so you would just have to um, speak with your confessor about that and uh, stay on the right track. Mm -hmm. It's talking about pure love. 
Chastity exactly. is pure love and whatever state of life you have entered. Exactly. Right, okay. We have a call. Thank you for your call, by the way. We have another one. Where are you from? Hi, I'm calling from Long Island, New York. Yes, and your question? Um, I'm wondering whether this order is something you would enter as a couple or if this is something I might pursue and pray fervently that my husband might follow. Oh, I'd like to speak to that. Go yes. ahead. You're going right ahead. You're because sure. my husband is two years behind me in the Holy Family Association. He's a first-year novice. Uh, and I do want to make this point very strongly. If the wife feels a call to this vocation, but the husband does not, uh, you can easily live out this life without any conflict between husband and wife. And this is a very good question because it comes up a lot. Or will I, my lifestyle change so much that it will annoy my husband? And the way I usually answer is that if your husband is allowing you to live uh, the Catholic life and follow the rules of the Catholic Church, even if he were a Buddhist, if you entered the Holy Family Association, he would have no more problems tomorrow once you were a member than he had yesterday when you were not. It's that uh, closely... Uh, intertwined with traditional family life. He would not get annoyed with you. Uh, Barbara, having said that, and you said your husband was two years uh, behind in the sense that he's now a novice, was there, when he first found out, now you may have had enjoyed the clarity of thought and understanding, mm -hmm. did your husband have the same initial reaction, oh wonderful, no problem, go ahead, do it? He being a man and <laughs> a scientist to boot, was far more skeptical and, and wanted to know exactly what he was getting into. So mm. he studied it a lot more in depth. I was very much more from the emotional angle mm -hmm. and wanted to jump in. Mm -hmm. uh, but Boyd, having studied very clearly what the vows mm. entailed, because he did not want to take anything on his conscience mm. that he couldn't fulfill, uh, it took him two years longer than me. He was satisfied. He's now a novice and very happy about it.